Okay, so for question number two, uh, solve by taking the square root. When you solve by taking the square root, you are going to just literally take the square root because uh, the square term is isolated already. So now we have x minus four equals, what is the square root of 27? Yes, thank you, plus or minus three radical three. All right. And then from there, we just go ahead and do what? Move the four, right? So we end up with X is equal to. Yes, four plus or minus three radical three. Jackson, come on, I don't have time, all right? Play around to the very end. All right, now for question number four, all right? Move the seven. All right, so now we have three X plus two squared equals what? 49. Now from there, I'm doing the square root of both sides. And I end up with three X plus two equals. Yeah, plus or minus seven. Now I have to do what? Move the two. So three X equals negative two plus or minus seven, and then what? Divide by three. So X equals negative two plus or minus seven all over three. All right, now because it's not a square root, all right, you go ahead and simplify. All right, the first you do negative two plus seven. All right, what is negative two plus seven? Five. Five. And then one answer would be five over three comma. And then of course you do negative two minus seven. Negative nine. And negative nine divided by three? Negative three. Anybody have any questions with that? Anybody have any issues with that? All right, here we go. Now the next part is solve by factoring. All right, this one's kind of annoying. All right, because the numbers are kind of big. All right, so what are we gonna start with? Two sets of parentheses. What middle factors do we want for 24? Six and four, let's try that. Six X and four X. Now, what do we want with 45? Nine and five, where does the nine have to go? The right. On the right side. Now, here we go, how much is that? How much is this? So is that gonna work? So now they're both positive. Very nice, that wasn't that hard. All right, so now from there, we just set the factors equal to zero. Try to. All right, six X plus five equals zero. 4x plus 9 equals 0. So we say x is equal to what? And x is equal to negative 9 over 4. All right, not a big deal. Anybody have any issues with solving by factoring? 
All right, now solve by completing the square. All right, to solve by completing the square, you have to isolate, all right, move the constant over. And if I move the constant over, it becomes x squared plus 10x. Leave a space equals negative 25. Yeah, it is 25. Thank you. All right. Now from there, how do you complete the square? What, divide by two and square. All right, so 10 divided by two. And then you square. So I'm going to add what? I'm going to add 25. Not always factors to whatever the half was. So this factors to what? Five. X, what kind of five? Plus five squared equals 50. Anybody have any questions with that? Right, now we're taking the square root of both sides. Now, when you take the square root of 50, what's the square root of 50? Five radical two, don't forget the plus or minus five radical two. Right. Oh my goodness. All right, so now, Final answer is x equals negative five plus or minus five radical two. Nothing to it. Any issues? All right, let's try it one more time. Move the one over. x squared. Hold on, guys, give me a second. Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, move the one over. So I end up with x squared plus 14x equals what? Negative one. Now let's complete the square. What are we doing? What is it? Plus 49. Yes, thank you. Good job. Plus 49. Plus 49. And then what happens to x squared plus 14x plus 49? Seven squared. Very good. X plus seven squared equals or plus or minus. Well, you're right. 48 first. Now you're doing plus or minus. Next step, right? Take the square root. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> so now X plus seven equals plus or minus. We've done 48 a bunch. So what is 48 the same as? Four radical three. Wow. What? Four radical three. From there, move the what? So X equals negative seven plus or minus four radical three. Anybody have any questions with that? All right, let's see. Quadratic formula. Yep, everybody make sure they see that. Negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus four AC all over two A. So here you gotta be careful. Underneath, we should go ahead and say that A is equal to what here? One, B is equal to what? 
16. Negative 16. And then we could say C is equal to 24. Are we okay with this? So now we're going to write X equals. Now the opposite of B. 16. 16. Plus or minus the square root. We know that 16 squared is 256. I'm just going to put that in. Minus 4 times 1 times 24 all over 2. Anybody have any questions with that? Yeah, you can use your calculator on the test. I don't care. Because um, the B thing, like, it changes. It changes inside the... Um... Because you're squaring it. A negative squared is positive. That's why. All right, so now someone tell me x equals 16 plus or minus the square root 160 all over what? 2. And then, of course, 160 breaks down to what? Um, 160. 16 is in there, right? 16 is in. 4 radical 10. Thank you. Or 16 times 10. But I like 4 radical 10. All over what? Yeah. All over 2. OK. And now divide by two, please. You end up with what? Eight plus or minus two radical ten. Eight plus or minus two radical ten. Anybody have any issues with that? Nobody? All right, here we go. Number 14. A equals what? Four. B equals what? 14. And C equals? One. All right, just plugging things in. X equals negative 14 plus or minus the square root. 14 squared minus four times one times one. All over two. So X equals negative 14 plus or minus the square root of what? One ninety two all over two. Now, does anybody remember one ninety two? I know most people don't remember sixty four times three. That's okay. All right. But let's say we don't remember that. Just let's review that process. One ninety two. What goes into one ninety two? Two. But I would prefer you to say four, right? Because two is not a perfect square. Is everybody with me? So four, take 192 divided by four, you get 48. And then 48 we knew was what? 16 times three, correct? So what's the square root of four? What's the square root of 16? Four. four and three is left behind. All right, so if you don't know 192 is 64 times three, you would break it down to some, something like that. So X equals negative 14 plus or minus eight radical three all over two, and then reduce it by two, you end up with what? Negative seven plus or minus 
plus or minus four radical three. Easy as that. Any questions? All right, here we go. So again, my advice, go ahead and just put X equals. X equals six plus or minus, what's six squared? 36 minus four times three times two all over six. So X equals six plus or minus square root of what? 12 all over six. And now what are we gonna do with that 12? Come on, what's 12? Two radical three. over six. Now we reduce by two. So my final answer is perfect. You divide by three, right? Or you divide, wait a minute, you divide by two. See how I trust you sometimes? This doesn't work out. Whoops, no whoops is allowed. All right, there you go. Three plus or minus square root of three over three. We just divided each one by two. Look, six divided by two is three. Two divided by two is that one. Six uh, divided by, you with me? Well, you divide by three? Two. two. Six, two, and six has a two in it. All right. Now, does this one really need to be done by quadratic formula? Because we should know it what? Right, it factors, all right, it factors. But because it says specifically do it by quadratic formula, we gotta do it by quadratic formula. On the test, you would just figure out what you wanna do on, on this section, right? Down here, you can do it however you want, all right? But even if it factors, all right, now, I always tell kids, if you forget, mess up the quadratic formula and you don't know the quadratic formula and you can get an answer by factoring, is that better than leaving it blank? Yeah, it's better than leaving it blank, okay? But right now, let's do the quadratic formula. So we have X equals negative nine plus or minus the square root. Nine squared is what? 81 minus four times one times eight all over two. So here we go, x equals negative nine plus or minus the square root of, I think it's 49, all over two. And of course, what's the square root of 49? Seven. seven. So x equals negative nine plus or minus seven over two. Everybody agreeing? So now tell me the answer. Negative nine plus seven divided by two, negative one. Everybody should be able to do that. Negative nine minus seven divided by two, negative eight. Everybody good with that? Anybody have any questions? All right, so now I've given you the examples. Right, solve by quadratic formula, solve by completing the square, solve by factoring, solve by taking the square root. All right, now I want everybody to look at 19 through 34. You have to decide how you're gonna do it. I don't care how you do it, all right? If you can factor it, you should factor it, all right? This, if you don't know, you should solve by taking the square root. All right, there's ways of identifying what's the best method. All right, 
Number 21 should be done by completing the square because the middle term is even. All right, and the leading coefficient is a one. That's how you would kind of determine that. All right, does anybody have any questions? All right, you have this many homework problems. All right, and tomorrow I'm just gonna sit and do all those problems. And again, I'm serious now, guys. I don't want anybody with hurt feelings and bad grades. All right, so I'm not asking you to do a whole bunch of work. All right, this is not the time to sit around and play around and pretend like everything's okay. All right, get your work done. All right, get your work done right now.